So once upon a time when the stock market would break down anywhere from 2009 to 2013, frequently I would publish like eight charts that show, oh my God, the market's cracking. But there'd always be one chart that was bullish. And I'd say, well, I have seven bearish charts and one bullish chart. So I would publish the seven bearish charts. And just as sure as God made it little apples, it was almost like they were they were emailing the, to the Fed. I know they were emailing it to big hedge funds. But as soon as the charts would break, the Fed and the hedge fund, everybody would come in after the stops got run, turn around and buy everything. And this went on for a long time. And I learned the hard way. I learned the hard way. I don't want you to learn the hard way. So I'm bringing out this chart. Now, normally I would say, that this was the top at 65K, and then you had A, B, C. And that's how the DeMarc work is. That's how the Elliot, that's one count. That seems logical to me, particularly since this Fibonacci based support held down at 16K. Okay. So the crypto market just went through an A, B, C. But that's not how it's marked, is it? Because there's an alternative idea. There's one, two, FTX was three. This bounce was four, and there's going to be a five wave new low. And that's where all these people who are talking about 14K Bitcoin, like they're, they're not looking at this chart, but there actually is a chart. There is a chart that justifies that view. Now, as an analyst, I would be remiss if I didn't publish it. I believe it's ABC, but I'm telling you right now, if it's not, and there's an event in March, you might see something ridiculous, which is why whales are maybe, maybe unloading on it now, looking to buy it all back later, right? They're looking to hoover up anybody's capitulation. Now that could be short term, or that could be at the end of the month, at the end of March. These are things you need to be aware of. Now, I'm not giving you the exact answers today. I'm giving you things to think about because we got regulatory risk. We got the Fed. I have my opinions on those two things, but when the news hits the tape and the algos read them, they're not interested in what's on my Twitter. They're going to trade them, you know, bad news down until somebody blows up and then somebody's going to figure out that the Fed is not only night tightening, but they're going to be practicing or thinking about the next rate cut. Parts of the bond market are actually looking for rate cuts later. That's kind of a long story. But what comes first? You know, the blow up that ends the Fed's nonsense. And where is crypto if that blow up happens? I just want to face the fact and want to face that if bears press and whales sell as Gensler and the Fed come in at the same time, you have a perfect storm. You have to adjust your portfolio for that storm. Mm -hmm.